Today, I feel like doing a little sewing. I can totally use a new top. So I am going to make a simple summer top for a doll using a cotton fabric, 1 8 of an inch elastic, a needle and thread, and a sewing machine. I start by laying my doll on the craft table. Place the fabric right next to it. And this is a thin cotton fabric that I found at Walmart for about $2 a yard. I can also use pre-cut quarters that can be found for about 99 cents. Now this top is going to be an off-the-shoulders peasant top. I want it to start right above the chest and end at the waist. So I place the fabric on the doll, add a fourth of an inch on the top and bottom for a seam allowance. On a piece of paper, I write down my measurements and it comes to a total of three inches. And I like to keep a record of the measurements so I can duplicate the top later or make alterations if needed. Using a ruler, I softly make marks on the fabric, then move the ruler and continue going all the way down for about 12 inches. Fold over the fabric at the marks, make a crease, open it up and cut on the crease making a long strip of fabric. To prevent the edges from fraying, I set my sewing machine to a zigzag stitch, place the fabric under the machine, and sew along the edge. Trim off the loose thread, fold over a fourth of an inch at the bottom, and at the top, I use an iron to make a crease, and remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. After ironing the top and bottom, I set my machine to a straight stitch, then sew a straight line all the way down one side. <laughs> Making a hem for the bottom edge. Now for the top edge, change the machine back to the zigzag stitch, take some elastic, and you can find this at Walmart for about 97 cents. Place the elastic on the fabric right in the middle of the top hem. Place it under the foot in the sewing machine. Lower the needle so it passes through the elastic and the fabric. Sew forward and backwards a few times to lock the stitch. Pull the elastic, then begin sewing. a constant steady pull on the elastic, making sure that the needle is going into the elastic and not just staying on the sides. When I get to the end, I can see that the elastic has gathered the fabric. Remove it from the machine, take the elastic and loop it back onto the fabric, stretch it out, place it into the machine and lower the needle into the elastic, Keeping the elastic stretched and the fabric slightly stretched, sew a zigzag stitch. Let's go. Let's make keeping the two lines of elastic very close. When I get to the end, remove it from the machine, trim off the excess elastic and thread, creating a pretty double gathered edge at the top. And since we pulled both rows of elastic while sewing, it should be able to stretch. Lay the fabric down with the good side facing up, fold it in half, line up the edges, and sew a straight line going down. I'm using a straight stitch, and I start sewing at the flat edge and not the elastic side. Because sometimes when I start on the elastic side, it gets caught in my machine. When I get to the end, I go forward, back, forward again to lock the stitch and make sure the elastic is secure. Carefully trim off the excess thread and it looks like a wide gathered skirt. To make it look like a top, place it on the doll with the seam in the back, pinch the fabric around the doll's arm, thread a sewing needle, hand sew a straight loose line to plan the sleeve. Repeat on the other side 
to plan both sleeves. Carefully remove the doll and sew a thin straight line going around the thread. So I place it in my sewing machine at the bottom hem, lower the needle right next to the line, sew alongside it. When I get to the end, lower the needle into the fabric, lift the foot, turn it, put the foot back down, sew a few stitches, lower the needle into the fabric, lift the foot, turn it, lower the foot, and sew back to the bottom hem. Trim the excess thread, cut between the machine sewn lines to separate the sleeve. Repeat on the other side to make the other sleeve. And usually when I make this top, I use all the same color thread. I am only using a contrasting color right now to make it easier to see. Once everything has been sewn and all the loose threads trimmed, turn it inside out. Use a wooden dowel or a paintbrush to gently push out the sleeves. Place it on the doll, feet first, to make a peasant top. And this is how I made tops for little Froggy and I. Only those are slightly larger. However, if the sleeves seem a little tricky, here is a second option. Make a long rectangle of fabric just as before, only this time we cut 15 inches. Hem the bottom and add the elastic to the top. With the good side facing down, wrap it around the doll's torso, pinch it in the back, sew a straight line going down, trim off the excess to make a sleeveless top. Take the remaining material, fold it over and cut it in half. With the good side facing up, fold it over, lining up the edges, sew a straight line along the raw edge, turn it inside out, to make sleeves. Place them on the doll's arm to make the top. For the dolls, I prefer this option. We can hand stitch the sleeves to the top or keep them separate pieces so we can make sleeves that are different lengths and switch them out for a different style. Get creative with the sleeves by cutting a long strip of fabric, hem it on one side, sew a loose straight stitch on the other, Pull the thread so it gathers. With good side to good side, line up the gathered edge with the bottom of the sleeve. Sew them together with a straight line so that when it's flipped over, there is a ruffle at the bottom. Sew the elastic to the top. Finish the sleeve just as before, turning it inside out to add a large ruffle to the bottom of the sleeve. Adjust the size to fit your doll. And you're done. Happy crafting! We can never go back this road We can never go back that way I see you standing in the corner like it's okay Don't you know that you move with your body? Don't you know that you move with your body? We wanna go on, on, on We wanna go night and day I see you standing in the corner like Want to give a shout out to Rose Gold Dolls. What's up, Sophie? There you are. What are you doing in the craft room? Since I am the ultimate fashionista, I was making my own couture line called Gorgeous Fab by Sophie. Gorgeous Fab. Oh, so you make a new clothes? Well, it's about time, because people at school, they're saying you wear the same thing every day. I do not. Hello, Monday. You know what, Naveen? I love Taco Tuesday. Sophie, you know it's Wednesday and our papers are due tomorrow, right? Yes, Chloe. Sophie, it's Thursday. Where is your paper? Yes! It's Friday! 
school's out for the weekend! Okay, so maybe I wear my favorite shirt a lot, but I'm going to wear what I want to wear, and I'm not going to worry about what anybody else says. Who said it? Sophie wears the same thing like every day. When I find a shirt that I like, I'm going to wear it a lot. That's why my new invention is so awesome. It's a comfy shirt, and I can change the sleeves for a whole new look. I just invented a shirt I can wear three days in a row. Wow.